today. I just wanted to do a quick little rundown on how to make Kratom tea. Just a nice little, just a couple pointers to make a nice, good tea with Kratom. If you're not using the capsules and you're using the loose powder. Now, I recommend warming up your water separate. Don't mix it, then warm it up. I recommend you can either do it on a stove top in a pot and warm it up and just get it to where it's before simmering. You don't want it boiling. You don't want it too hot um, because of you don't want to damage any of the alkaloids or any of the any of the matter, the plant matter, by having the water too hot. So you have to find a nice happy medium, kind of like tea. You know, you don't want it to be boiling crazy hot. Um, also, you don't want to put your kratom in the microwave. I think. I believe it would probably destroy alkaloids and maybe kind of kill a lot of the active ingredients in there. Um, I think it would kill a lot of the good, good things and the good plant matter that's in there. So, you know, um, get your water nice and hot, nice and hot, warm. We're not trying to get it boiling, and um, you know, add your kratom. I recommend getting yourself a little gram measurer. This is a gram measurer or a tablespoon is just perfect. And you know, we're going to get our water nice and hot. And yeah, if you're not using the capsules, this is probably the best way to do it. And yeah, get yourself a nice level level teaspoon and, you know, I would say that is one serving so one two three tablespoons is gonna be what you're looking for um, anything from one two to three tablespoons is perfect and that's gonna be about two grams each tablespoon and I recommend five to eight if you're really in pain and really freaking out and really need help such as for anxiety, alcohol withdrawals, opiate withdrawals, medication withdrawals, any kind of painful um, anxiety, aches and pains, you know, it's going to be a good 5 grams to 8 grams. But yeah, I mean, one tablespoon, some warm water, a nice tea. I wouldn't put any honey or sugar or anything weird in there. Um, you know, we're not going for taste here. You're going to want to, you're going to want to get it into your system pretty quickly. And if it's nice and warm, you'll be fine. And, um, it'll, it, it's actually stronger and it actually gets into your system way faster and way more efficient than, you know, just throwing in the capsules. So using warm water, not boiling and don't put your kratom inside boiling water and don't put your kratom inside a microwave I recommend maybe yeah just throw your water in the microwave 45 seconds get yourself a nice level tablespoon of kratom uh, in your powder I mean your powder boom into the water mix it up nice and good you know break up the chunks and everything like that and don't slam it or guzzle it down but you know because you don't want to you don't want to get sick but Make sure you're taking it in, let your system take that first gulp in, and then boom, take the next gulp, whatever the case. Um, yes, I, rec I don't recommend putting anything crazy sweet in there because it will, the bitterness, the sweetness, just deal with the bitterness for 10 seconds. And if you do get a stomach ache or 